Okay, this is about replacing the radiator. Um, the, uh, let's just cut to it. You get in, if you find an older radiator online, um, and you of course can't take this off because you try to use a tool that goes inside here, a radiator um, a tool to remove this, and this has been sitting sitting, sitting so long and so tight, electrolysis, etc., that it's locked, it's frozen these two metals together. Um, it's not really electrolysis. Let me show you. Uh, it's just frozen. It's just bonded. If only you could crank it, it would let you crank it. I've tried to use uh, all types of bond breakers on it. Now I'm going to show you. That's from the other side of this radiator. So they've been sitting at the same time. And you see no rust in there or anything else. It's, it's brass. Um, and this cast iron, they don't have electrolysis. Um, so you should be able to break it free. Uh, they don't have any significant electrolysis. You can't, you, the, the, one of the ways is you get in here and you try to cut this, but you can't get inside there until you, see now you can get inside there. You can't get inside, inside there. So you have to um, cut this off first and then you can get access. You can try cutting this nut, which I've done before. And I was gonna show you the video on that, but. I decided that's not a right way to do it because ultimately you're taking off this piece here anyway. So you can cut the, the brass ring, pry it apart, but that's just a wasted step. So we'll just go ahead and cut it. Okay, so now hopefully this will fit in. And it does not. There we go, it does. All right, so it fits in enough where I can cut this ring now. Now I've tried heating these up um, that's a waste of good energy also. Um, they don't do anything besides expand. They won't break free. So you're pretty much left to what I'm doing here, just cutting it. And then... Okay. Sorry about losing focus there. I guess the machine um, wrecked focus on me. Now let's see if we can get lucky without me cutting 100% through and see if I can show you how these break. Otherwise I can finish cutting it. I like the grip pliers as they uh, seem to give you the leverage you need sometimes. Nope. Okay. So here we go. Finishing the cut. Okay, let's try that. Okay, now you heard it break or pop. Let me zoom in a little bit. Noise here in the background is the rest of the house bleeding down because you've got to bleed the whole house, the radiators down when you're on the bottom floor. All right, let's go ahead and see what. This is one of my tools I get to use it as I see fit. Don't go, don't waste your time going to find a hammer and all that other stuff. You know, you're gonna no longer be efficient. These things are so cheap. Alright, so I'm glad this one's giving me a hard time so you can see. It is loose. Let me try breaking this one. Breaking the seal here.
Now, it's kind of weird, but it might unscrew. Next time, I think I'll just break one side of it and then try clamping it together and screwing it, unscrewing it. I just came up with that idea just now. just need a little bit of a break on one side instead of two cuts. I might be able to do it with with one cut next time. And as you can see there's you can see it. There's no there's no electrolysis and it's coming off very easily. So now we've got these cuts in the in the metal here. I'll use some dope and also um, some I'll show you what I'll do. Okay so I want to show you now the imperfections I put on this thread is the are these slots right here. See the little slot? And it pretty much goes all the way through. Of course, I could try to just get away with it with just a brass fitting. Um, the brass fitting that goes on. And let me show you inside this thing. You see those two knobs there and there? Well, that's going to line up with this guy. So, here's the back side of it. It's a tool. And as you rotate, it locks. So that would just go in there like that. And... You're done. Snug it up, snug it up, and you're golden. But with those two slots continuously through, uh, even using pipe dope, using using a dope might be a little um, not worth the trouble bleeding down everything just because you wanted to skip a step. So here's the step. I use this. Uh, right, let me see if I can instant. Let's see if you can show it. Instant steel patching compound comes in a roll, uh, tube. Let me back it up for you. That's that gray tube over here. This tube here, you, you cut off a piece and you can see the, the multiple colors inside. Um, let me turn rotate this now over to here. And give me a moment, I'll back it up. So, you, um, I'm sorry, that's nothing. That's just the end of the tube. So you mix it up and it's going to set fast within just a few moments. Hold on, give me a minute to mix all this up. It's an epoxy. Just keep folding it over. And it will cure within about two hours. So, keep folding it over. And you can see how quickly you can get a nice sample of what you need. Now, you can thread, you can cure, roll this, you can thread it. Also, it's toolable. So, I'm just going to put that across the threads. Come on, get in there. thin tube. I don't mind the excess a little bit. Maybe that's too excessive. I'll probably just go ahead and take that back out. And just so you know it does have a little bit of a smell on it. A little bit of an odor rather. Smell is what we do, right? So it can't have a smell. It can have an odor.
Okay. Now, I don't need any the pipe dope, but we'll put it on there anyway. Little, little quick lubricant. Let's see if you can see. It's not some magical adhesive. It's nice. But it's no magic. Um, okay. So that that's setting up already because it sets in two to three minutes. This that steel stuff I just used on it. So let's go ahead and dial that in. Dial that in really quickly. The floors are being redone here, so. I get the denim up the more, the more I guess. Now this won't come off again, so don't worry about breaking those little nodules. What do you care? Um, as long as they don't break inside. But the new ones don't really break. The old ones, when you try to take it off, they just pop right off and strip. turns is too much you're not you're only going to pop the inside if at all you're not going to pop these brass threads they just they're just not going to pop with you it's just going to thread okay so keep in mind this is a union so i snugged it up pretty pretty darn good as you saw if this does leak here, I can still take this union off and work on this again. Um, of course, that inquire, requires me draining the entire uh, system again, which would be a pain in the ass. Unless I had a shutoff valve on it right here, which I do not. It would be one inch. Okay, let me work on the other side now. <laughs> 